For thousands of years, different groups in society have fought for equal rights and freedoms. The civil rights movement in the United States and the fight by women for equal pay in the workplace are examples of this. But artificial intelligence or robots will take this fight to a whole new level, challenging democracies around the world. Just in 2017, a humanoid robot was granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia. An AI boy was granted residency in Tokyo. And in Russia, an AI has received support from 40,000 people to stand in the upcoming presidential elections. As this technology advances, AI or robots may call for their own rights and freedoms, for their own equality. But will governments abide by this? Will governments view AI or robots as equal to humans? Different countries will approach this differently. While some will abide by it, others will reject it. And those that reject providing artificial intelligence or robots with equal rights and freedoms will show the true limits of democracy. At the same time, what happens if an AI or robot is elected to office, perhaps as the mayor of a town or as a senator? As this AI or robot begins crafting policies, there could be social backlash as humans reject what this AI or robot is proposing. There's also the risk of whose AI nations will use in economic planning, government, or military. Will they use American AI, Chinese AI, Indian AI, Iranian AI, or other? Perhaps it's impossible to apply human laws and human constitutions to govern artificial intelligence or robots. This makes AI or robot rights and freedoms one of the most pressing challenges for political systems around the world in the coming decades.